Hello. Hello, good afternoon. My name's Lauren. This is Ian, and we're Bars and Bells. Welcome to our Strength and Swings class. You'll need a little bit of space. A kettlebell, yeah. A kettlebell, your body weight, a little bit of space, and us. That's all you need. Oh, and water. Water. Make sure you hydrate. I'd like to, we're back from our 160 bike ride weekend in one water. day. 160 water. kilometers, yes. It went very well. We did it in just shy of seven hours of actual bike time, which was very good. And that included one flat tire and a road that wasn't really bikeable. So that was pretty good. 35 minutes of walking added to that total. Anyway, we'll get started with some breathing and then we'll get nice and warmed up and rocking into some cleans and presses and crawls like last Tuesday. Breathing start. I would like to start on my stomach lying down with my hands like this, face down into the floor. But because I have a mic, I think that'll be a little bit annoying on that. So Ian's gonna do that sort of style of breathing. I like to call it alligator. And I'm gonna sit here kneeling, breathing into my belly. Same rules for both positions. Whenever you're ready, just close your mouth and start breathing in and out your nose. Slowing down your breath to about four second inhales and four second exhales. As you do this, focusing on your inhale, filling your belly in all sides, from the front, from both sides, from the back, and on that exhale, letting that belly fall. I like doing this facing the floor as you can feel your belly push into the floor. So use that floor as feedback as you breathe here. I'm gonna get back on pattern here. We have another, as you finish that exhale, nice inhale here for four seconds, in for four, Three, two, now hold your breath for four, three, two, exhale for four, three, two, hold your breath for four, repeat, in for four, hold for four, exhale four, Hold four. One more time. In for four. Hold four. Exhale four. Last hold. Four. Two. And exhale, relax. Nice, as we go through tonight, try to continue breathing in and out your nose. Come back to my position here, your kneel, and then extend, actually you don't even have to go to that far, let's go to all fours. I'm really living the dream here, I have a nice cushy knee pad today. I know, luxury. Let's take our hands nice and wide on the floor, pack our shoulders, <clears throat> excuse me, and keeping a neutral spine, your hands are gonna to start to warm up or warm up those wrists, but I wanna turn our attention first to our head neck. Gently tuck your chin towards your chest as if you're looking down towards your belly button. Keep that chin tucked and slowly pull your head up to start looking towards the front of the room. Try not cranking on that neck, but keeping that chin tuck as you go here, shoulders pulled down. Try to rotate those blood donations forward now as you're here. Keep that position with your arms, but tuck your chin and start pulling your chin back towards your chest. One more time, chin from chest, head lifts, looking straight ahead again. Not overlooking with your eyes, but just looking straight ahead. Shoulders packed, donations forward, pull your head back to center. This time do an ear to shoulder. Your left ear towards left shoulder. Pull the right shoulder down, that feels nice. Head goes back on straight, same thing, other side. Right ear to right shoulder, other shoulder, make sure it's pulling down. Center, one last time. Ear to shoulder, that's really nice. Center, ear to shoulder. And if it's not nice, you should be doing that gently. 
and going through ranges that feel nice. Now, nice long head, I want you to rotate as if you're checking your blind spot that's now the ceiling. Rotate your head one way, back to center, rotate the other way. Try to keep that axis of rotation nice and long. So if I put a rod right through your head down your spine, that's what you're rotating on. Also known as your spinal cord. One last time. Back to center. Slowly push yourself away from the floor and up to that tall kneel. Let's gently sit back on our toes or our ankles for a second. See how far you can get there. Warm it up. Okay, maybe you're okay to stay here. Maybe you'd like to do this next drill from this position. Both are fine. Let's do our flexion and our extension of our T-spine. I'm gonna cross my arms across my chest. I wanna set my shoulders right now. So I'm gonna pull them up and back a bit to a nice position. Now, those blades are not gonna move this whole time. I'm going to pull on my abs, keep my head chin neutral, pull on my abs, rounding my upper body forward. Then stay strong on your core as you start lifting your chest, not with your head and neck, not with your shoulder blades moving, but trying to push your heart through to center. Relax a little bit, pull back down on your core. Do a little bit of that flexion, keep your abs tight, your low back neutral, and then try to extend through that upper back. Check in with your head and neck. Check in that you're not reaching too much. And one last time, pull down on core, flexion. Keep that abs braced as you try to lift your chest through, pushing your heart forward, not using work with your blades. Three, two, relax to neutral. Shake that out. It's a tricky one, but a good one. Much. Come back down to the floor. Let's quarter turn our wrists here, so fingers face sideways, but still, uh, shoulders packed, blood donations zip forward, and now let's shift our weight over a hand, and then use your fingers to push into the floor to push yourself back over. Shift your weight over, push yourself back. Shift your weight over, push back. One or two more times there. Do you get further on one side? I know I do. My right side is a little sticky. My left side, I can get a little further. To center, peel your palms away from the floor, bending through those first knuckles, and then flick or push your fingers away from the floor, shaking that out. From here, let's this time tuck our toes. Here, like this, toes are tucked, and try sitting on those ankles and toes. How does that feel? Stretch through the bottom of your feet, stretch through your toes, work, easy, stretchy actually. Maybe after seven hours of flat biking shoes, this is a good thing to do. Now squeeze your butt, extend your hips, great. Ah, remember you can either sit in this tall position or come back down to your kneeling. We're gonna slide our body this time. From this position, take your rib cage, slide it to one side, back to center. Slide ooh, it to one side, back to center. What I like about where I am is my hips really can't move and I'm trying not to tip my weight over here. And then center and slide. Trying to keep those shoulder blades level and that rib cage just sliding across the body. Last one, pulling to center, shake that out. One more wrist. We're gonna go, oh, I like this one. Fists down, I always forget and then I remember. Fists, knuckles down, pack shoulders, elbows straight. Slowly start to open one hand with the back of the hand towards the floor. Pull the shoulder down. Really try to straighten your elbow as safe as you can. That donation comes forward. Now push away from the floor, making that fist again. Repeat on the other side. Pack shoulder, elbow straight. Roll to that back of the hand down. And then bend to close. One last time each side. Ian's doing the modified version, bringing the floor up 
and doing this from a wall, back to center. Last time, other side. And to center. Great, shake that off. We have one more rib upper body move. Okay, but first let's test our ankles again, see if they're more stretched. First, untucked feet, sit back. Feels great, so good I could even rock back and really feel that ankle stretch. Then extend hips, tuck your toes, Oops. and do the same thing here, sit back on those bent toes. Ooh, I have more now, whoa, yeah, I could even load that up more by leaning back, pushing through. Extend hips, find your favorite toes, and come to your kneel for one last time. Hands across your chest. We're gonna link that to go through our full rotation through our upper body. So cross your arms. You can watch the first time if you want or join me right away. Cross your arms. Set your shoulder blades up and back, leaving them where they are. Now, just like the drill previous to the slides, round forward or pull on your abs. From here, rotate one direction. After you've rotated as far as you can, side bend off that new corner. Now, relax your shoulders. We're gonna go up and around the back of our circle here, extending that heart like we did in our first drill. We find a new corner to bend into, and then we rotate and pull ourselves back to center. Repeat, from the front, pull down on abs. Let's rotate the other direction. Rotate. Side bend to new corner, up and around the back to a new corner, side bend into that corner, rotate and pull yourself back to center. We should do that one more time each way. Flex, rotate, side bend to new corner, extend up and over to, to other corner. Rotate, round back to center. One last time, pull on abs, rotate. New corner, extend around the back of your circle. You're in that new corner lateral bend or side bend. Rotate and pull yourself back to center. Extend up tall. I have a rib cage that moves, yes. All right, that's great. We're gonna get continue warming up into our crawls, which are now fancy curls. We'll save those for later. You might need those later, so don't put those far away. Have a little sip and prepare to crawl. Our first one, if you're standing like me, let's fold all the way down into our down uh, forward fold. If you're already on the floor, go right through your, to your down dog. I'm here, I'm gonna tuck my chin and forward round myself, flexing my spine one vertebrae at a time, all the way towards the floor. Once I can touch that floor, ooh, maybe a gentle pedal of the knees, I'll walk myself out to a down dog here. Butts high, tail tilts to the ceiling. Trying to straighten both knees, pushing my chest through, driving my heels down, gripping the floor with my toes and my feet. Now shift your weight through, through from a, to a high plank position, pausing there. Let's go to our lizard. So that's right foot up beside right hand or left foot beside left hand. Pull your shoulders down, grip the floor with your hands, shoot or push that front knee forward as that back heel reaches away from you. And then start pulling the floor together to brace your abs and create some tension as you lift that front foot up and put it back where you got it. Other side, other foot to other hand. Well, reach out that back heel, reach through that front knee. Brace by pulling back together, create that tension, put your foot back where you got it. Squeeze your glutes, drop your hips towards the floor, extending your spine. Untuck your toes, pulling your shoulders down. Remember a butt squeeze and we're lifting up and away here. Now tuck your toes, brace your abs, pull yourself back up to the sky to that down dog. 
enjoy this down dog again. Maybe it's a little easier this time. You can even drive your heels down and lift your toes. From here, we'll roll through from, to our high plank. Spider-Man again, right foot comes up to right hand or the opposite. <laughs> and again, shoot and reach that back heel away from you. Reach that front knee away from you. I feel a big, nice hip business going on here, yeah. Brace tension, lift that foot, and then try to put it back. Other side, foot to hand. Knee, front knee, reaching that way. Back heel, reaching that way. Nice long spine. Now pull the floor together to brace. Lift the foot, put it back. Squeeze the butt. Drop the hips. Extend. We're often catching ourselves in that forward rounded posture, trying to spend a little bit of time here in that more extended position. Do you like lifting your head neck? Does that feel good? Add a bit of a twist. Now one last core pull, so tuck your toes. Pull your core up. Walk your feet slowly towards your hands or your hands slowly towards your feet. And then you're in your forward fold or your round position. So slowly unstack one vertebrae at a time to stand up to tall. Very nice. Let's get our legs a little fired up here. Finding a balance first. Feet in parallel, right underneath you. Put yourself in a straw. So that means you need to squeeze your butts. You need to pull your kneecaps up. You need to brace your abs. You need to stand up tall. Now stay in that straw and grow towards the ceiling because you come up on your, sorry, let me try that again. Push down to grow up into your straw. Find a nice steady position here, but kneecaps pulled up, glutes squeezed, abs braced. Try to imagine you're in a plank here, even if you have to ugh, make fists, pull those elbows in tight. If I came through the screen and tried to move you, you couldn't move, hold, five, Four, three, keep that tension, keep that tension tight, slowly find your heels, slowly, but still don't let me push you over, abs, 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 and heels down. Don't go far, shake that out, repeat again, straw, slurp up, hold, keep that tension in your core, brace, now, I'm looking at a tree that's moving. Now I want you to also change your gaze. Try looking around your room, but keeping that tension through your core. Look around the room and physically move your head. Can you move your head and keep your balance? Five more seconds like this. Back to center, create that tension again. Couldn't push you over, slow descent. Four, three, two, heels down. Let that go. One more balance here. Roll yourself up. Could you transfer a weight this time to a single foot? Whoa. Transfer that weight and hold for five, four, three, two. Put the first foot down or the other foot down. Transfer weight to the other side and hold. Five. Four, three, two, two feet down, slow descent. And I will say, wow, my balance is interesting today. All right, let's fold ourselves down, starting from the chin, pulling on the abs, rolling yourself down through your forward fold. This time we're going to walk out to a push up position. Walk out and find your high push-up position. So top of your push-up here. Hands are in your nice place. Depends on your shoulders and your body, but mine are wider than my shoulders. Or sorry, wider than my chest. Probably just under my shoulders are slightly wider. I want you to start pushing your butt back through your back wall behind you. If this is too much work keeping your knees hovering on the floor, your knees could come down so you're almost in your child's pose-like position. Long tailbone tilted to the ceiling. 
I want you to drive your hips now through back to that uh, push-up position. Again, if you need modified, just keep your knees on the floor. Otherwise, we're in that high push-up position. Let's do a push-up. Oh, one nice little push-up. Push back to your child's pose or your hover frog position. Can we drive through high plank or high push-up? Push up again. Can we do up to five of those? Pushing back to our frog, through to our push-up. Back to our frog, through to push-up. Your core should be fired up here. Your butt squeeze as you come through that push-up position. Tight as a rock. <laughs> Last push-up, because I've lost count. I think I was like eight. Walk your hands back through that frog position. Extend your hips and roll yourself back up. We'll come back. I want to actually come back to our parallel feet again and get our Jane Fonda's going. Feet in parallel. Let's bend our knees or push our knees over our toes for a couple seconds here. Stay tucked under, keeping your spine nice and tall. You can see Ian's still vertical there with his upper body. Now drive the floor away to stand up. Repeat. Knees over toes. Stay tall. Push the floor away to stand up. Knees over toes again. This time, could you find a toe balance so your heels come up? Then could you extend your legs up tall? Slow lower through your heels. One more time. Knees over toes. Roll to toes. Extend hips to tall. Slow lower down. Let's reverse it. Up to tall toes, knees over toes, keeping your heels up, heels come down, extend at the hips, roll back up to tall toes, knees over toes, heels down, stand up tall, shake it out. We have one more crawl that we've been working on, and it's our bear transitioning to our crab. Let's go no rules, come down to all fours. Hands under your shoulders, toes tuck. First, we're gonna start in our bare hover hold. Start pulling the floor together underneath you. Brace your abs, lift your knees up off the floor about two inches. Don't spill the water on your back. Pull together underneath you, four, three, two. Come on down, relax. If that was enough, Maybe that's all you do. If you'd like to come with us, we're transitioning to our crab, which we've been working on. What that means, it's our opposite hand and leg that's gonna lift and rotate and flip us around. If you'd like to watch the first time, go ahead, otherwise join me. Ready, brace abs, lift knees off the floor. I'm gonna take my right hand and my left leg off the floor, start rotating towards the ceiling, and end up in my crab position. Nice. Pull your shoulders down. Could we do one hip extension here? Squeezing our glutes, extending our hips. Now, hips drop back down. Let's go back to where we came from. So same hand, same leg as the left first time. Flip back to your bear. Hold your bear, stay hover. Three, two. Now other hand and knee, sweep underneath. End up facing the ceiling again. One more time, let's extend those hips up. Hold, three, Two, hips drop, hand and foot leave, spin, back to bear hold, three, two, knees come down. Nice bears. One last stand up via forward fold, a hinge, however you'd like to stand up here. Come on up, and then we'll get right into our windmills here. I'm going to do an overhead loaded windmill. If you're not ready for that overhead position yet, I'm going to go light here though. You can load the windmill from the bottom. Also very acceptable or you could perform this completely body weight. What are you doing Ian? Ian's going to do his low, I'm going to do high. If you're with me, let's hinge, grip our bell through a cheek clean to rack, press, we're here. If you're with Ian, the bell is going to be at the front foot. Both of us have slightly internally, 
well, one leg's internally rotated, one's externally. From here, front leg can bend, back leg stays straight. Chop those hips, sending them away from you through that hinge position. Pause at the bottom, drive up because your hip comes back under you. Repeat, chop, hinge, rotate under that bell. Keep your spine nice and long, up to tall. Noticing that I'm not trying to touch the floor, that's not my goal. I'm only going as low as I can with a straight spine. I'm done three, I'm gonna pivot back to center, pull my bell down nice and slow. Two hands, hinge bell comes down. Shake it out, same thing other side. Hinge to pick up, rack, press, pivot, chop, hinge rotate. Keeping that shoulder packed, that front shin nice and vertical, your hip is pushing back behind you. Last time, vertical shin, nice and long, all the way tall. Feet pivot forward, control that pull down. Two hands, bell comes down, shake it off. All right, with this, I said we'd warm up our stop swings. I'm gonna warm up my single arm stop swings here. Oh, I just need a slightly different bell. Five, single arm stop swings each side. We'll stick to one arm first, one side first, do five and then switch arms. If you're not sure what a stop swing is, watch and then do. Otherwise, here we go. Hinge, grip bell, pack shoulder, one full swing and park. Continue for five. Thinking about that top plank position. Keeping your shoulders square at the top. Keeping your loaded arm nice and packed at the shoulder. Last one. Bell comes down. Stand up, shake it out. Same thing, other side. Grip, pack, pull. Remember to keep that hinge nice and low each time, or deep, I should say, not necessarily low. Two more. Shins are vertical, shoulder packed. Punch stomach, punch butt, and up without. Whew. I heard you hit the wall there. All right, one more set of windmills. Either floated from the bottom or loaded from the top, your choice. I'm gonna use the bell I'm gonna press with just so I know how much it feels like. All right, if you're with me loading it from the top, let's cheat clean. Use our press. Pivot our feet. Back leg stays straight. Chop, hinge, rotate under that bell. Up to tall. Top, hinge, rotate, up, tall. One more. Tall. Feet pivot forward, pull your bell down. Two hands. Absian says, good. How's he, and I'll tell you about that later. Hinge, other side, and Pivot feet, chop hinge, rotate. Oh. Push that hip, drive that hip into that far corner of your room. Allowing your front shin to stay vertical. There's no drifting weight over that front foot. Tall. Oh. Feet, pull down, straight down. Up without. Nice. We'll go back to our stop swings this time, but they're not gonna be stop. They're gonna be continuous. Five single arm swings on our right, five single arm swings on our left. Getting ready to get right into cleans after this. Hinging, gripping bell, packing shoulder, five continuous swings. Thinking about getting punched in the 
butt and stomach at the top. And down, making sure that off arm is swinging with you as well. If you need a little extra help, tap the bell out front. Then you'll remember to swing your other arm. Hinge, grip, pull, five. Park. Up with that. Let's have a sip. And then we're going to get into our cleans. We've been working on our continuous cleans here. And that's what we're going to get back to right here. Right away, three minutes of work here. On the 30 seconds, five cleans on our right arm. Put the bell down, five cleans on our left arm. To review, our clean looks like this. Grip, pack shoulder, zip, hold, through, zip, hold. Cues I'll be giving, through, and park. Keep that grip. Not too light, but light enough to punch through the bell. Also making sure you use both hips driving through. There was one more thing. Oh yes, sometimes I tell you to be in a phone booth. So keep that bell nice and tight to the body, zipping up your jacket and unzipping your jacket. All right, it's time to go in five seconds. Three minutes, five cleans every 30 seconds. Three, two, hinge. Grip, clean, one, two, both hips come through. Through and park when you're done your five. Shaking it out, yep. Feeling the burning calluses like sometimes happens. In five seconds, second side, three, Two, five cleans again. Park. Nice. As we are between sets here, try to slow down or control your breath through your nose breathing. Don't trip over your bell when you're showing off. All right, round two. Set, five again. Check in with that shoulder, making sure is that hinge and that clean comes between our legs, our shoulder remains packed and doesn't drop out there. Keep your lat engaged. Second arm, three, two, five. Zip. Toes heavy. Park. Nice. Ten seconds off. Mm -hmm. Noses open, mouth closed. Five. One more minute round. Three, two, first arm. Making sure you're putting down that bell just as nicely and cleanly as you're picking it up. So important there too. Five seconds. Last round of cleans. Three, two, go. Park that bell. Take your breath. Very nice. Those feel really good. I feel, I like cleans. They make me feel <clears throat> Strong, like a brick wall. I hope you feel that way after our workouts as well. Strong and maybe ready to do anything that comes your way. Not depleted and crying. All right. Five rounds of presses to pump out here. Same pattern as 
excuse me, sorry, just adjusting a bit there. Same pattern as what we did just previous. So we're working every 30 seconds. Ah, right, last day I did this activity, I used this bell here and I did it. This was my rep scheme. Set number one, threes, threes, threes. Set number twos, fours, fours, fives, fives, fours, fours, threes, threes. That worked for me. We've had a bike ride since then. I'm gonna try to do that same structure again. So I know I still got it. Ian played between heavy and light. Heavy and light. He's just gonna keep fives with one bell the whole set. You pick your number, maybe it's one, one, one. Next time, two, two, one, one, two, two. Maybe it's one, two, three, two, one. I think you get the point. If not, email me and I'll send you a more detailed email. 10 seconds, first round, pick your number, make it attainable or challenging. Presses, one clean to press. Cheat or regular clean, here we go, first side. When you're done, that side bell goes down. Take a couple seconds off. I'll tell you when to do the second arm. If you're pressing to press like we are here, I like my cheek clean to help me up. Three, two, second arm. Same number. And park. Or park when you're done here. All right, so we're coming up to round two here. So maybe you've picked the same number for five sets or maybe you're doing a little wave or a pyramid. I'm going to number four here. Ian's sticking with fives. Here we go. Nice. 10 seconds or so till that second arm. Remember to use those abs when you press. Use those butt cheeks when you press. Up tight. Three, two, four presses. One, inhale on the way down. Two. Just like we practiced earlier when we were in our balance position, holding our core tight, use that zip energy up to help shoot your bell up. Round three, I'm at the top of my pyramid here for five. Whoa. I will say today that was harder than normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gravity's heavy today. Get ready in four, three, second side, same reps, two, up. Whew. Not gonna lie, I'm happy I'm ditching a rep here. What? It's 18. Is that good? It's heavy. Oh, yeah. It is heavy. It's 40 pounds. All right. <laughs> Back down, I'm down to threes here. Second last set, go. No, no, not on fours. Noticing that our hip, oh, four, sorry. Noticing my hip drive as I press. I do drive slightly out on my hip, but I don't side bend. All right, four, or I shouldn't. Just 
So you can drive that hip underneath the arm to help, but no Whoa. little side bends. All right, last set. Promise. Promise. I'm down to threes again. Go. Whew. I'm getting sweaty. I don't know about you. Who knew so much rest could let you sweat so much? All right. Last set. Three, two, press away. Once you're done, park your bell, grab a sip. Oh. Mm -hmm. Still try to catch your breath through your nose. A couple more breaths. And then we're gonna come down and do the opposite stretch of cycling, <laughs> which is a, a frog. So no matter what you like to do, if you like to run or you like to bike, I hope you don't run like that, or you like to bike, or you like to skate, or canoe, you have to make sure that you undo some of those moves too. So for us, biking for seven hours like this, once we got to the cottage, we did a lot of these sorts of things. Trying to go the other way and just undo that. If I canoe all the time on this side, I try to spend some time over here too. No wrong movements, just undo them occasionally. Where hands are on the floor, knees slide as wide as possible. Our shins come out so they're in line with our knees. I like my feet flexed and slowly, maybe you stay on your hands or you come down, excuse me, to your elbows, keeping your shoulders packed, your head nice and neutral. And just for a couple seconds, do what feels good for you, no rules. Maybe you slide back and forth. Maybe you draw some hula circles with your hips. Maybe you tilt an untucked tail. No rules, just explore. Now I want you to come pull yourself forward. Okay, this time I want you to draw a circle as best you can with your hips. So I'm forward, I'm gonna call myself noon. I'm on noon. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna go clockwise. Let's go clockwise first. Instead of pushing, rocking straight back like we normally do, could I start rocking towards one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock? At three, I'm gonna start pushing back behind me to hit four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock is straight back. There's not much over here, seven and eight, but I'm trying to reach over towards seven and eight with my hips. Coming up towards nine to 10, 11, and back to center 12. Let's go counterclockwise like that. 12 o'clock, trying to slide over to 11. So I'm just kind of imagining my hips trying to reach all those numbers on the clock. Not really possible, but a fun feeling as you do it. I'm at six. I'm gonna come out to the bottom trying to reach five, four, three, two, one, and noon. Did you like that? I did. Mm -hmm. Let's rock back. Fun variation. Pull our elbows together. Maybe slide our knees back together. Wipe our brow, because apparently it's quite drippy. So again, thanks for joining us on Strength and Swings. That should have given you strength and energy and power and allowed you to cook that dinner like this or do whatever you're doing. We'll see you tomorrow morning at nine, that's Wednesday, yes it is Wednesday tomorrow, 9 a.m. Recharge and, recharge, recharge and restore. Um, or handstands at 4.30 and beginner kettlebell at five o'clock. 
anytime in the archives. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren. This is Ian. We're Bars and Bells. Stay strong, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.